We continue to monitor the ongoing war in Ukraine as Russian President Vladimir Putin is warning about missile attacks. Our Philip Ward spoke with a national security expert, Dr. Fred Hoffman from Mercier's University, who explains how this war may come to an end. In February of 2022, the Russia-Ukraine war began and it still rages on. National security expert Dr. Fred Hoffman from Mercier's University said he didn't think the two countries would still be at war. I thought that, first of all, the West was going to step up a little bit more with foreign aid uh, for the Ukrainians. Uh, I'm not surprised that the Russians are still at it, though, because it's, uh, it's kind of a zero-sum game for Vladimir Putin. He's an autocrat, and he's, he either wins or he loses. There's no in-between, no middle ground. I want to take you back, sir, to May of 2023. And I came to your office and talked to you about, hey, you know, now we're over a year. I mean, we're getting closer to three years of this now. And yep. you said that Ukraine is going to win this war. Do you still stand by that, doctor? I think it, I, I would say yes with an asterisk. And what I mean by that is if the West steps up its aid and makes clear to the Russians that this is a no-win situation for them. And just this week, Putin has been lowering the bar for use of nuclear weapons, something that Hoffman believes is a bluff. I think that, and part of the problem is I think Putin's in a corner because yeah. the Russian economy is tanking. There's a reason they brought in North Korean troops because the Russian losses, 720,000 soldiers. Think about this. Four years of World War II, we fought in. We lost 405,000. Wow. Right, 405 mm -hmm. in four years. The Russians have lost 720,000 in two years, and it's not getting any better. Philip Ward, Erie News Now. And you can see the full interview with Dr. Hoffman on Inside Erie Politics Sunday morning at 1130 on WICU.